Hey guys, it's Anaïs and welcome to my channel. I'm happy to present today this abstract makeup, which may look as pointillism with these colored dots. So if you want to see how I created this makeup look, then keep on watching. Before any makeup, I'm moisturizing my skin with the Good Morning Soap and Mask from the Korean brand Apu. I'm mixing two foundations today, the Photofocus foundation from Wet n Wild in the shade Soft Ivory, which is already too light for my skin tone, and the white face and body from MAC. I'm applying it on my face of course, but also on my chest to have a light uniform shade without any demarcation. The reason I'm whitening my skin is to create some blank canvas. Any redness or unwanted shadows are erased and then I feel that I can create properly on this white area. In order to whiten my skin even more, but still without an opaque result, I'm using a cream, Stick Shadow from Meron, With a disposable sponge, I'm applying the white cream on the lighting points and then blending it in my skin on the rest of my face. I'm setting my foundations in place with an HD translucent loose powder from LA Girl to not budge the foundation already in place, I'm pressing the brush on my face and then when it's all set, I'm sweeping away the excess of powder with a clean brush. I'm using the Unicorn Tears Bronzer from Too Faced in the halo of the cheeks, on the forehead, and on the jaw bones. To create all the dots, I'm using some Meron Paradise water activated paints and a small blending brush from e.l.f. I'm trying to decide the size I want for the dots and I try to keep mostly the same standardized size for all the dots. The first color I'm using is red, and because it's a dark color, I'm placing it on the shadows areas, so on the halo of the cheeks, on the temples, on the top of the forehead, and around the jaw bones. I really do not want to have some symmetrical look, but I still want it to be cohesive in the asymmetry, you know? So I'm being careful in the colors placement. I respect the shape and the features of my face and I follow the colorimetry to have a nice gradient color. So the dots begin from red to orange, then from orange to yellow on the lighting points of my face. Then I'm using a light green to create a transition to the color tones. With this dark green, I'm kind of creating a stretch out cut crease from the lid to the temples. I'm also beginning some nose contouring and stretching out the lips. I'm using a light blue between the light and dark green. With a dark blue 
I'm adding some intensity to my cut crease, to my nose, and I'm also applying it on my eyebrows and lips. and on the top of my forehead. I'm stretching out a dark blue with a dark purple. And this purple allows me to use the color pink. At first, I didn't want it to use too much of the pink, to not have some overgirly results. But finally, I felt like the pink was bringing a lot of positive energy and warm feelings to this look, so I did use quite a lot of it. Ok, so from now on, my base color gradation is settled and I'm just randomly picking the colors I want to add to overlay or to intensify. I like this process a lot cause it leaves more place to creation. It's more based on the feelings you want to project on the painting at the time you're doing it. And for that, I feel like you can create more freely. I also really enjoyed the paint in my hair as an extension of the dots from my face to my hair. However, on my eyes, I really wanted to keep this graphic design on the cut crease to make them stand out from the rest of the look. And that's it for the dots. On my waterline, I'm using free shadow stick from NYX according to the colors around the eyes. So I'm applying a yellow eye pencil on the inner corner, a light green in the middle of the waterline, and a pink on the outer corner. On my top waterline, I'm tightlining my eyes with a black eye pencil from Hourglass. And to accentuate the weirdness of this makeup, I'm not using some regular black mascara, but I'm creating a green one with the light green water activated paint. And that's it, guys! Thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more upcoming videos.